As I'm sure most of you already know, I really quite like my 3x3 piston doors. This one behind me was one of the first ones I uploaded back in 2013, so over four years ago now, and amazingly enough, it still works, and it fits within an incredibly small space, just two blocks wide, it's all in sync, one of my favourite designs. Then over here we've got arguably one of the fanciest 3x3 piston doors in that it creates a rather nice looking spiral on the closing, and also the opening as well. It's a tiny bit bigger, but come on. I mean, <laughs> this thing looks amazing. However, neither of these designs surprised me quite as much as this one did. Now, this was sent to me by X Arkham Life, and even though I never normally showcase other people's designs, this one just had to be shared, because amazingly enough, this mess of observers, droppers, and occasional redstone dots comes together to create a fully functioning 3x3 piston door, and not only that, but it's actually quite fast. I mean, <laughs> this thing's ridiculous, and it's just one block wide. Look at it, it doesn't even look like it should be a redstone contraption. Okay, let me try my best to explain what on earth is happening here. I am going to warn you, things happen extremely quickly in this circuit, so I apologise if I don't make too much sense, but the main things to focus on are these two pistons down at the bottom here, and these two pistons up the top. The rest of the pistons literally just extend out their blocks and retract the blocks. Nothing too exciting. These ones are the ones that handle these blocks here, which are the difficult ones. So when it comes to the closing, what will happen is, this piston will fire, pushing its block up like this, then this piston will fire, pushing its block across, then this piston fires again, pushing both of these blocks upwards, so they end up here. Now this double piston extender also tries to extend at the same time, but this piston will be extended at the time it tries to do it, which means that this piston will just push the block out to there. So that's that. That's pretty much the closing all done and dusted. Now as far as the opening is concerned, that's when things get just a tiny bit more crazy, because the first thing that will happen is, is this double piston extender will extend downwards, pushing all of these blocks down like this. Then this piston will retract across, then this piston will extend and retract, and then this double piston extender will retract this block back to there, and then back to there. And you can see all of that happening really quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a slow mechanism. So there it is, smallest 3x3 piston door I've ever seen. I'm going to show you how to build it, but before I do, if you want to check out these other ones, there'll be links down in the description. Anyway, let's crack on with the tutorial. Just to warn you, by the end of this tutorial, you are going to be sick and tired of the word observer. But anyway, we want to get things started with a 7x1 area, and the first thing we're going to do is place an observer facing across like this with a block, and then a dropper, another observer facing across in this direction with a block, and some redstone dust, an observer facing upwards, and an observer facing across. And then we're going to have two sticky pistons facing upwards just like that. Then we're going to have blocks going across here, we're going to have a sticky piston facing across on top of that observer, and then at the end right here we're going to have ourselves a regular piston, and next to that regular piston we're going to have a block with redstone dust on top. So that, believe it or not, is all of the bottom circuitry done. <laughs> it just seems ridiculous. Next we're going to make our way up the left hand side and fill in all of the side pistons. So there's going to be three sticky pistons going upwards like that, with our three blocks there, and while you're doing it you might as well place in those three top blocks as well to give us the outline of the 3x3 piston door. But the next thing we're going to do is place a block up like this, a block up like that, and redstone dust running up and over just like that, with an observer once again facing in this direction right here. And that will power those top two pistons, and then this observer down at the bottom will be powering this bottom piston. So then, we're just going to chuck in the pistons for our double piston extender. To wire that up, all we have to do is place in a dropper over here, and then an observer facing across, which is going to be powering that block. Then we're going to have redstone dust on top of that dropper, and that right there is actually going to be our input. So this is the input block. Then you just want to place two observers facing across just like that with a repeater set to four ticks and a repeater set to one tick and then you're pretty much on the home straight. We just want to place in two sticky pistons facing across just like this and an observer facing downwards which is going to send the redstone signal through into the bottom circuit. Now you are going to have to sort out all of the blocks in the door so you just want to place in blocks like this. You want to fill in that block right there fill in that block right there, and fill in this block as well, and we should now have a fully functioning system as long as I haven't forgotten anything. Which, of course, I have. 
we need to have a block on top of this piston right here and that's going to be powering that piston which means we actually get this bottom corner all filled in anyway when we flick this lever we should see there is the full closing and there is the full opening and it started raining Apparently it's a rainmaker as well. But anyway, ladies and gents, that's about it. There's nothing else really to add, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please just hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. And as per usual, I want you to check out the latest film on the filming channel. The link will be on the end screen. It's a good one.